Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you're really going to like this video. And also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Back in March, I made a video about the top five high yielding savings accounts. And we're about, we're six months into the year now and there have been some changes with savings accounts. Unfortunately, it's been a change to the downside. Many savings accounts and banks are lowering their interest rates because they're expecting the Federal Reserve to reduce interest rates. And so when the Federal Reserve makes a change, whether it's going up or down, banks and credit cards, they also make changes with their interest rates. So this is good news if you're looking to buy a home because the interest rates for mortgages are going to go down uh, if the Federal Reserve does actually reduce rates. However, with your savings accounts, this is a negative thing. So with the top five accounts I mentioned in my previous video, there's actually been a reduction in four out of the five savings accounts. So now based on these changes, we have new rankings for the top five high yielding savings accounts you can get. So our previous bank that ranked as number three out of the top five is now the number five bank, and that's Barclays. So Barclays is a savings account that I've used for many years, and because of the reduction in the current interest rate, I have actually been transferring money into other accounts that I have with other banks. Next is Marcus by Goldman Sachs. Previously, it was the number two ranked savings account, and now it has dropped down to number four. Just like Barclays, they also reduced their interest rate uh, and by the same margin of 0.1%. So I forgot to mention the specifics with Barclays. It used to be 2.2%, now it's 2.1%. And now Marcus by Goldman Sachs, which used to be 2.25%, is now 2.15%. The next bank, which was previously the number one ranked high yield savings account is Synchrony Bank. Now their interest rate was at 2.5%. So it was 0.25% higher than the next highest uh, interest rate bank in our previous list, but it dropped down by 0.25%. So now it's at a 2.25% interest rate. Now that's not a bad interest rate. When you look at the average national bank, which is at a 0.1% interest rate. Um, it's actually 20 times the national average or over 20 times the national average. But because of this reduction, that has dropped down to the number three spot in our rankings. Now in our top five, we actually have a tie for number one. Now, if you watched my previous video, you would know that there were two other banks mentioned in the top five, but only one of them remains in the top five. Unlike the other savings accounts in our previous video, HSBC Direct actually increased their interest rate most recently. They were at a 2.2% interest rate and they are now at 2.3%. Now they are still lower than Synchrony's previous spot at number one when they were at a 2.5% interest rate, but because of Synchrony's drop to 2.25%, it has allowed HSBC to not only increase their interest rate to move into the number one spot, but also make a tie with another bank that wasn't mentioned in it. So if you have watched the previous video, you know that Ally Bank was the other bank that was included in the top five. But because of their reduction in the rate, they've actually dropped out of my top five for online savings accounts. So who moved into the number one spot or tied with the number one spot? And that savings account is Personal Capital Cash, also with a 2.3% interest rate. So Personal Capital Cash, which is a new savings account that's available. For those of you that use Personal Capital, it's very similar to the app, the Mint application, where you can actually use that app to track your finances, track your different savings and checking and investment accounts and loans. And on top of those features that they have, they now also have their own savings account. And it's really easy to set up. If you already have a personal capital account, you can just sign up for the personal capital cash account to get that 2.3% savings rate. And I'll do another video going into more details about this account, but it was really simple to set up, especially if you already have a personal capital account to track your finances, it'll just automatically connect one of the checking accounts or savings accounts that you have within that app. And then you can just transfer the money directly without adding any additional information because they already have your account information within their application. So if you would like to see the additional features for these savings accounts that I've mentioned, make sure you check out my previous video where I talked about these top five bank accounts and I go into a little bit more detail about all of, all of the features and whether they have fees or don't have fees, whether they have a debit card or don't have a debit card. And I'll make a separate video where I talk specifically about this personal capital cash account and its features in my next video. 
I'll also make another video because there are actually some accounts that are even better than these savings accounts. Now the separation that I make between uh, the savings accounts that I mentioned in this video and as well as my previous top five video is that these are online only savings accounts. They don't have local banks and they also have limits to the amount of transactions that you can have per month. But there are other accounts like checking accounts and cash management accounts that are very similar as far as their interest rate or maybe even higher interest rate than the accounts that I mentioned in this video. So be sure to check out that video as well. It'll talk mostly about cash management accounts and some checking accounts that you can get that have a higher interest rate than the 2.3% that I mentioned in this video with some having an interest rate as high as 3%. So be sure to check that out. So that's it for this video. I really appreciate you taking this time out of your day to watch it. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Again, thanks for watching. You guys have a great day.